I welcome all of you and uh, those of you who are going for Cochin Shipyard. Uh, you know, there is a written exam first and followed by interviews and all. So, this is a great opportunity especially from uh, for students of South India because uh, you know, you are going to write this exam and uh, uh, there is very less availability of material uh, uh, for written exam of Cochin, I mean previous years papers very less. Uh, though there is some material but uh, not sufficient material. On the basis of whatever information we got from uh, students, our students, previous uh, students and uh, our own mentors, the, on the basis of that, let me tell you what is the most important part of uh, uh, this uh, uh, written exam of coaching and what is uh, to be asked. Because it is a shipyard, you know, they will be requiring you to have knowledge of particular domain. When you talk about, uh, you see oil companies, when you talk about shipyards, these two things are different. Suppose you are preparing for HPCL or are you preparing for coaching shipyard. Uh, so, requirement of jobs is a different. So, when they recruit you in the interview and written exam, they expect uh, knowledge in that domain in which the company is working. Because it is shipyard, most important part is production engineering and material science. So, if you ask me honestly, then I will tell you that lot of question you can expect from production engineering. Production engineering question you can expect in coaching shipyard and you know when we made this HPCL uh, micro module that time we kept lot of focus on thermo fluid kind of domains but this time that part is obviously you revise micro module is already there with you you revise that but now we are going to add many questions related to production engineering and material science these two parts we are to cover in detail. Production engineering and material science, lot of questions were asked from these two domains. And there is another part of these two uh, basically domains, uh, production engineering or manufacturing engineering and material science is highly data oriented domain, data and information oriented. So, uh, which uh, voltage current characteristic is used in TIG welding, which is used in MIG welding, those kind of questions. And the pattern of Cochin shipyard I will discuss with you later on. That pattern says that it is also rep, uh, uh, you know speed test. It is also speed test that uh, unlike a gate question will come if you know it you will answer it if you don't know you will not answer it. And I, I don't think there is a negative marking so that means entire paper you should attempt. On the basis of our knowledge uh, you know lot of questions from annealing last time. So, what are the main, main important uh, uh, chapter that is what I told you other than conventional and when I am saying these two are important do not uh, um, uh, you know miss the conventional topics because uh, very closely related to this is strength of material also. So, unless until you do strength of material you know this material science will be of no use you have to club it together. So, strength of material, material science and uh, production engineering ka weightage is more compared to other exams that is what I can say. So, uh, on the basis of our analysis we found questions in annealing, you know uh, normalizing, there were direct question from there that means heat treatment processes, revise these heat treatment processes. Well, and then questions were related to TIG welding, TIG welding, direct questions asked. Questions were related to casting defects, casting and welding defects, lot of questions related to that. And uh, you know crystal defects, crystal structure, that was a question related stress strain diagram. I am talking about the written exam stress strain diagram lot of questions related to that part was also there. Yes, then there was questions from metallurgy ring gauges, ring gauges and other questions related to metallurgy and you know welding may, welding may the questions were from resistance welding, resistance welding and some questions were related to your uh, you know uh, the welding processes may I think uh, gas welding one question was related to the oxidizing normalizing flame uh, what we get that question was also there. And uh, you know uh, then question obviously fluid mechanic jo aapka IC engine hai internal combustion engine <coughs> scavenging question was there two stroke 
power related to two stroke power there were questions and uh, yes uh, questions related to alloys properties in steel so which alloy has which kind of properties because steel is very very important steel cast iron and material properties alloying elements questions from bearings bearing materials so there were questions from bearings and bearing materials that was the question here and uh, yes some questions were related to uh, your inventory also inventory because that is also important inventory there were questions and uh, then yes <coughs> directly from uh, some machine tools machine tools like lathe machine you know uh, milling machine those machine operations they were the questions from there and uh, brazing and soldering questions from brazing and soldering were also there brazing and soldering why because shipyard these activities uh, keep on going and yes uh, there were some kind of uh, you know uh, uh, this uh, case hardening processes there was question from case hardening processes also case hardening processes and uh, question from yes corrosion corrosion questions were there yes question from chips and built up edges which you study in metal cutting so chips and built up edges wahan se bhi question aaya tha so these were the questions which were asked in there so uh, welding processes casting processes welding defects casting defects uh, then uh, machine tools question from there and brazing soldering uh, you know then defects produced that is what we have discussed alloying elements so production engineering manufacturing engineering and material science start preparing from there that assumes importance of and strength of material and all these things you are already to do so now on your pdf whatever micro module we have provided you already now start doing that and we will add up these things in the regular live classes we will add up these things so that your preparation is really good so let's start preparing now on that particular domain hope the concept is clear uh, now uh, civil engineering mentors will also explain you how it is to be done as your pd has launched the module for civil and mechanical as of now don't miss it 85% question as i told you earlier are going to come from here only directly thank you